You welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. Time to look at what the papers are saying. Now we're starting uh, with uh, Sporting Life, and um, it's all about the Carabao Cup. Uh, Nigeria midfielder uh, Wilfred Indy playing 90 minutes uh, against uh, Liverpool in that match, but it wasn't the same for Kelechi Anacho again. Ahmed Musa as well too. They were both benched for 90 minutes. It's not looking good for these two guys. And it's been dragging on for Musa last season. Now for Iana Cho, big money signing. Can't seem to get a uh, consistent game time. I, I think uh, for Kelechi Iana Cho, he's, he just signed on. Big money signing. Uh, he will get his time. I don't think he's 100% yet. Uh, uh, but uh, for, for Ahmed Musa, I was actually quite surprised. He stayed at the club at the end of the window. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, you know, you just have to get whatever you, 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 you know, whatever time that is given to you. Uh, for Wilfred Ndidi, he wobbled a little bit yesterday and I was, I was quite worried, uh, you know, after the game when he was, uh, you know, was wincing a little while walking off the pitch. Mm. Uh, you know, ha having October, eight, October 7th in, in mind, mind. Uh, you know, that was a little bit worrying for Nigeria. But I think for Wilfred Ndidi, he will find his game playing better and I think uh, it's a good one for Nigeria. Ever present, ever right. present in uh, the... Leicester City 11. So um, let's go quickly to um, Complete Sports now. That's the next paper that we're reviewing. And Eagles, okay, Nigeria versus Zambia World Cup qualifier. Eagles list out next week. Are you expecting any surprises uh, in this list that is coming out next week? Hopefully we'll see a couple, uh, maybe uh, maybe one or two players from Niji? the... Uh, I think I think Peter Ineji has earned himself a wow. place in the, in the Super awesome Eagles shout. side. Uh, because uh, n nothing specific, but for the fact that he's he's quite persistent. Maybe he doesn't get to play, but um, the, the experience, experience yeah, will count for him. And it was a crucial, crucial part, part of, of every, Battle United yeah. as well. Winning so I, I think I think that. But alternatively, uh, alternatively, I think uh, the the team is good enough. Right. I think uh, Anthony Wakeme deserves his chance, not just to come to the Super Eagles, but to get playing time. Wow. He didn't get to play. Uh, but I don't expect anything uh, different from what mm. we are getting. Nothing really. Uh, like, hopefully, you know. we'll see Ola in our play this time around. Uh, you know, mm. and and like that. So oh, I think okay. it's good. All right. Okay. Last one for review. I can't resist this. <laughs> uh, I know you can too. Sporting Sun. Uh, Neymar wants Cavani sacked. That's the lead story. Uh, Wednesday edition of Sporting Sun, that story is on page four. What do you make of this drama? A big boy comes to a new team, then somebody wants to show the big boy. I was here before you came. I, I think Cavani picked a fight he's going to lose. Mm. Uh, because, um, yes, Cavani came uh, before Cavani has been in the team. He's, he's been under the shadows of Ibrahimovic. He's finally getting out of it and then and come Neymar. Neymar. Right. Uh, but the truth is, is the hierarchy of the game. You have to... Uh, I think it all started when he went to struggle. For, I, don't, I don't understand why Cavani wanted to take a free kick mm. before the penalty right. came. I don't understand why he wanted Your to take coach, a free kick. Yeah, exactly. Would you rather take your free kicks? Of course, it's Neymar. Neymar is, right. is, is, is better equipped for it. Right. Uh, he should have stuck... They've, they've, they've had their scruples with uh, penalties. I think it was a game against Bodo. Mm. Cavani won it and then... I don't know why he decided to go play free kicks. So right. uh, that started it, and of course the penalty it came. Doesn't look like the coach is in charge. You know, you hear issues about Danny Alves pointing fingers at Cavani. No, let this guy take it. So like, who's in charge here? Uh, when it comes to these situations, I think uh, uh, Una Emery has done the right thing because if you stick by one person, it's definitely your. Let them sort it out. If they are able to sort it out as gentlemen, then let them do that. Alternatively, he will not say, okay, you take free kicks, you take penalties, right. and if you're not around, the other person does it. But for now, let's allow both men. I don't necessarily think Neymar wants Cavani sacked. Okay. Does he have that in his priorities? No, I don't uh, no so. he doesn't have that. He but, just wants to score as many goals as but possible. But if, if he goes down the wire, mm -hmm. I think Cavani, he just picked a fight, he might lose. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. So that's it. Now, that's it for Neymar and Cavani. Uh, a couple of tweets uh, before we leave the studio. Uh, I'll go for uh, uh, Bosun says, I, I think Ferdinand is just looking uh, for platform to forget uh, his loss. Professor Chris and I, now we have your tweet here as well too. You say, uh, the main team should be taken seriously. Any lackadaisical uh, attitude will cost Nigeria uh, the game. And um, yeah, that's it. Now that's it. Thank you uh, for your tweets. And um, yeah, thanks for watching as well too. Uh, Chidiberi, uh, thanks for coming. Oh, Appreciate your time. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, I want to say thank you to you as well for uh, allowing us to be a part of your day. We're going to do this tomorrow. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Taya Salam.